Hello, hello, hello. All right. Making sure that everything is okay as always. So give me a moment. Okay, right. Okay. Hello, gorgeous ones. Hi, everyone. It's so good to be with all of you on this sacred blue moon. Welcome. Thank you for being here. I hope that you're having a divine journey into this very special full moon that we're having. Um, I think we're moving from the sign Aquarius today into the full moon in Pisces tomorrow. So wherever you are, whatever you're feeling, I thank you for being here and I hope that this will be of service to you, wherever you are, however you're feeling. I just want to put this out here so that you know that I'm honoring you, I'm seeing you and thank you for being here. All right, so if you have never been here before and you're wondering who the F this is, my name is Liying. Welcome. Thank you for being here. I am a Cha Dao ceremonial keeper. Cha Dao, if you don't know what that is, is actually the way of tea in English. And it is a way of living in harmony with nature and with ourselves. And I am so excited to be here to share with you some of the work that I do and also some stuff that is really coming up that I hope that you can actually really amplify the full moon energy and help you to clear some stuff and release some stuff and perhaps even harness something in you that is truly truly authentically here for you to work with so some of you also might know that i am a spiritual mentor i work with beautiful multi-dimensional women who are here to lead they know that they are born to lead that they are here to really go so deep deep into the core of their own truth so that they can shine their light and radiate their wisdom onto humanity and help us elevate consciousness of this space, this dimension right now. So I'm really excited to bring forth what's coming up for all of us. And I want to preface this first um, with several things. I want to invite you in today, if you're tuning into this, to listen with your body, to listen with your heart, to listen with your womb space, to listen with your solar plexus, to listen with your root chakra, and maybe perhaps even to listen with your third eye and your crown chakra. Perhaps even I will push it a little bit further because I love to really, really let you see what is capable that you may not even see just right now. Listen with your highest self. Listen with that unseen realm version of you. Because what I'm going to present to you today may not be understood by your mind. It may be something that the mind will come up against with a lot of resistance and that's okay i just want to preface that there is no right or wrong and wherever you are on this journey as you listen to this i just want you to take it with this beautiful curiosity of like hmm that's interesting maybe that resonates or maybe that doesn't resonate and that's okay it's all okay right? I'm not here to push anything on you, but I wanted to really bring this up because it has personally transformed my life and it has helped so many of my clients to really move through some of the gunk in their energy field and really, really unleash their own wisdom, their own power, and reclaim their own light. So I want to just share this because I feel like it's really, really important. And also, I want to say thank you to the one person who dropped into my DM and asked this question. And it really got me thinking and feeling into what, what, what would be the best way to serve. And I thought coming on live would be the best way to actually serve multiple people who are no doubt in probably the same space of wondering about this as well. So what I am going to talk about is this. The question that really came up 
and you know it's no coincidence because we are in the blue moon the full moon of in pisces right when we are in the full moon in pisces pisces is so interconnected with feelings pisces is very 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 connected to the way we move through what we call emotions and sometimes the Piscean um, sign is very much related to compassion. It's related to this very, very feminine energy. And there are, as with everything, there are the, the light and the dark side to everything, right? The duality of this dimension where we're living in. So when it came up for me, I really, really thought, oh, this is so perfect because I really love the idea of moving through energy without attaching our mind to that so what am i talking about let's drop into this there are lots of people who tend to feel that you know coming from a conditioning of a hustle culture perhaps there tends to be this feeling of like, oh, I, I am so burnt out from this. I want to learn how to really come back to my sense of being. I want to come back to a place where I, I can be present. I can be in harmony with whatever that's going on around us. And I want to go so deep. I want to go so deep within myself so that I know myself so well that I know exactly when is the time to rest and when is the time to take aligned actions and it becomes this really sovereign presence you become this beautiful queen this goddess who really owns her truth and there is this unwavering vortex of stillness that you move with and this is the ultimate wish that i have for every woman and I can see how this can really help you to step into your power in all the ways that you can. Each woman has a different way of doing that. But the starting point almost always comes from the singular space of the vortex of stillness. So I want to start with a story. A couple of months ago, when I went to a beautiful training in London, I remember arriving in that space and I was thinking, wow, I, I've got this, like this is going to be an amazing thing that's going to up level me. I already knew that it was going to really lift me off into another dimension and in a, in a higher level of service. And what happened was I walked in and there was this segment of this session where everyone is sharing their own gifts and one of the ladies sent out uh, her tarot cards to each one of us and each one of us she would pick one card for each of us and she said that will be the message for you today and when i turned over my card the card said go deep and the 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 instant action i had to that was oh what do you mean go deep like i this is what i do and i think i go deep enough like i i always go deep what do you mean go deep and i even wrote on um the piece of paper i had then where where to go deeper how can i go deeper when i'm already in the deep end And so after that, the entire day was spent really bawling my eyes out, really coming into a space of just sobbing. My body was moving so much energy. I was feeling so much coming through. It's almost like an exorcism that was happening. And the spirit just flew out of me, that, 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 that old residual feeling of not being seen not being heard all of those human side of why am i not an energetic match to all the things that i'm calling in just kind of just blew apart and exploded out of me and it just it just literally turned into dust if there is such a thing a metaphorical dust like literally and I felt so light. And after the, the whole training ended, I remember just leaving the building and walking 
walking through the streets of London, just taking in what happened. Like, whoa, like at one point I was just feeling into all of this and then just surrendering to what was happening. And then I finally understood the question that I was always asking, like, how can I be an energetic match to what I desire? And the answer came. It was such a simple answer. It's such an, such an easy one when it finally landed. And I'm going to share that with you today. Do you want to guess what that is? <laughs> I'll give you a moment. If you want to guess, you want to type that into the comment section. <sighs> I, I, I literally laugh just, hi, Ruby. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, that's me. Yep. Well, stay tuned because it will be a good one for you. You'll love this. So the answer that dropped in was one word authenticity authenticity i was at a point where i was ready to hear it when i picked the card the tarot card i wasn't i was in huge resistance i was in a very self-righteous place let's just be honest where i was like well i've done everything i've been doing all the stuff but what, what, what do you mean? Go deeper. Like I've been going deep. What the fuck are you talking about? Right. And that was a very self-righteous place. I was sitting on my self-righteous throne and, and looking at the card and then thinking I've done everything I could. What do you mean? Go deeper. And that my friends is where the overthinking mind, AKA personal personality, the protective personality, AKA your ego has shown its tail. And I love it. And I, I remember just standing on the streets of London, just kind of laughing like, oh my God, like, oh my God, this makes so much sense. Authenticity. Now I'm going to dive deep into this. What do I mean? And this is actually something that ties all the way back to what I do in my mentorship spaces, even though at that time I forgot. And let's be real. This is where compassion comes in. Let's be compassionate with ourselves, including the ego who is just really here to protect us, to keep us safe. But we are all leaders and as leaders, we've got to decide. Now I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's get back to where I was. Authenticity. What does that mean? So it coincides with the question that I got in my DMs that I want to answer today. I, it was in reference to something that I spoke about, like, you know, you want to call, you want to manifest things. You want to bring in things into your life, but unattach yourself from the timeline, have no attachment to how long you will take right and it doesn't land it, it and it, it didn't quite land for the person who really asked the question so i want to come in here and share a little bit more about what that really means so when i speak about authenticity this is a question i always always put out to my clients and also to myself when i'm on my own personal journey what is authentic to you now like what can you believe in now for example, you may have said to yourself, I want to have, I want to live a multimillionaire life. I want to be a multimillionaire. I want to have a big house. I want to buy a mansion on, 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 on the mountaintop, like on a Spanish mountaintop in Mallorca. And I want to fly a private jet. I want to blah, blah, blah. Okay. All those things, right? Let's, let's put it that way. Or you could be saying in your relationship that I want to meet a guy in three weeks. I want to meet a guy that is my love of my life tomorrow. There is nothing wrong. I'm just going to start off with this by saying there is nothing wrong with putting all of these out. The fact that you can, you can see it, that you can visualize it, you can feel it means that they are yours. They are yours 
it's already in your energy field. The reason you can perceive them as a dream or a vision is because it is here. It is here in the unseen realm, in your energy field. And that's why you can call them in. Now, here's the thing. The way to call them in is to become an, an energetic match for them, which means that you have to vibrate at the same level of frequency of that thing that you are going to call in. If it does not come in the timing you want it to, it just means that it is in your energy field on one of the many multiverses in all many of the timelines. And all that is required is for you to be an energetic match to it. Because ultimately, in the multi-dimensions, time does not exist, right? We all know this. Time is man-made. So that's where quantum leap is possible. That's where limitless potential can happen. That's where you hear stories of, you know, somebody who was thought to be I don't know, disabled forever, suddenly starting to walk or someone who had $30 in their bank account and then they start, they're, they're now a millionaire. This, this is where you're playing in the quantum. This is where it is not attached to timelines. So the real question for you really is if I asked you, you all the things that you've written down that you want to manifest. What does it feel like in your body? If I asked you, how does it feel like to already have it? I don't want you to, to tell me, you know, what it looks like. I want you to tell me how it feels like in your body. When you already have those things you want, how does that feel like in your body? Just take a moment for that to land for you, right? Just take a moment for that to land for you, okay? In the body, feeling it, right? Do you feel, oh, this is so good. I, I'm absolutely there. I can already feel it. I can feel how it feels like to wear those clothes or be on sleeping on that amazing bed that I wanted to buy for months now or carrying the bag that I want like or sharing my medicine with all these women in this gorgeous forest that I've always seen and I can feel it. It feels like something in my heart. It feels like something like it's expanding my solar plexus. It feels like something that is just so freaking good in my stomach. Like I can feel it. I can feel it activating my yoni. Like that's usually what's happening, right? However, if you are feeling something like, uh, yes, I, I can, I can feel it. Um, but then my mind is telling me now that, you know, in order for me to do that, then I need to make something else happen before that happens. And I, I'm kind of noticing now that my mind is also saying like, I don't deserve it and I'm not worthy of it. And, um, and it might take forever to do it. And I, I, I get what it means to, to do that, but it might take two years and three. Okay. If you notice that, be aware, stay aware, just stay with it, stay with it. Just stay with it and see if you can just drop your attention back down into your body again. And you may start to feel maybe a contraction in your body, some parts of your body, maybe a little contraction in your heart, in your chest, maybe your, your chest feels tight. Maybe your throat is starting to bottle up. Now, these are really important to pay attention to. Because if you've been stuck in a place where you keep saying, I, I feel like I've done everything and I feel like I'm really aligned to it, but I'm not getting there. 
then these are the signs that you are actually not aligned. You're just not aligned. Sometimes it's like really coming back to the basics, coming back to the foundation. The new age way of speaking is often about like, yeah, don't attach to, don't attach the outcomes. Don't attach to the outcomes. Don't attach the outcomes and then you will come. But if you are actually saying, yeah, I'm not attaching to the outcomes and then oh, wait, oh, oh, wait, wait, no, maybe I should, maybe I should, maybe I, I see that person doing that. Maybe I should do that. Oh no, maybe I need to heal a little bit more. Oh no, no, I'm confused now. Oh, no, I'm not confused. Wait, I am. No, I'm not. Okay. You, you get what I'm saying? And I'm not saying this as something that's bad. It's not. But it is a sign to become aware of that you're actually not an energetic match to that you're calling in. Because any threats of doubt is going to throw you off that radio station channel. We're trying to become something when we don't actually believe that we we can and that means there's something here for us to look at it doesn't diminish us it doesn't make us any smaller and so we have to really realize that and get off the self-righteous throne and really get down there get down here get down here you get from the mind down into here right to be an energetic match is almost like, you know, we are trying to tune into a different radio station at different numbers when we're traveling through different states. So at every level, different states, we have a different frequency to tune into. And so understanding that we are always evolving to be an energetic match to the next and the next and the next. That's what we are here for all the time. We are always evolving. There's never really an end. And that's what makes this so enjoyable. And to know that there isn't a goal, like happily ever after goal to achieve is truly important for you to understand so that you don't beat yourself up when you haven't gotten, quote unquote, gotten there, and also enjoy the journey now where you're at. So when it doesn't show up yet, what it probably means is that it is something that is, yes, it is there in the energy field because you can sense it. It is there for you when you're ready. Right now, maybe it is a bit too big for you like a baby learning to crawl can't just walk immediately this is the law that we need to respect in this dimension we got to understand that this is the space where we have that okay i i i understand the predictability of all of that when I learn to crawl, I will learn to walk and then I will learn to run. That's the linear timeline that we're on. But in order to play in the quantum where things can like you're literally collapsing time and space, you've got to get into alignment, becoming the energetic match for that you desire. So you may be thinking, how can I quantum leap? How can I, how can I, you know, like unattach myself from all the things that are all the doubts and all of those blah, 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 blah. We come back to what I said, authenticity. Authenticity means honoring what is true for you right now and consistently and constantly devote yourself to evolving 
your evolution can happen very quickly. My evolution has happened like a lightning pace. <laughs> Literally, last week is different from how I'm going to operate this week. Why? Because I'm always tapping into the energy field, and I'm always, always here, ready to up level. Does that mean it's easy? No. I run up against resistance all the time. But what I understand now is that the resistance is here for me to become conscious of what is being presented to me, because we cannot know light when there is no darkness. We cannot know what is when there is no thing. To know what is. There needs to be what is not. So when you know what is not, it's great. It's the first step. It's like I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want to live like that. I don't want that. I don't want. That. I don't want. Great. Now the focus is to move your attention, because your energy, wherever your energy is flowing, wherever your attention is going, is where your energy is going. Right. You want to move your attention to. What you desire, completely, and you expand your capacity to ground in your receiving and giving channels, and keep them really clean and clear from each other. There is that whole like there. There needs to be this letting go of. How much I receive, I need to give. How much I give, I need to receive. When you allow them to be clean and clear from each other, like they don't intersect each other, you will quantum leap. You will. This is where you actually really step into the field of limitless potential. This is where you collapse time and space, and very few people actually venture to this place because it takes devotion, it takes courage, and it takes unwavering faith. And that is what my work is here for. I'm here to light the way for you, and ultimately, you have to take the step. You have to take those steps. You have to decide: Do I want to stay in my self-righteous throne and say, "Yeah, well, yeah, I did everything; it didn't work," and I'm and and that person hurt me, and so I I can't love anymore. And this person, they betrayed me. How can I trust anymore? You know, I'm just gonna sit on my self-righteous throne because I'm right. Everyone hurts people. Everyone betrays people. Nobody gets to their goal. Even the the most successful people are lonely on the top. I'm right. Or you can enjoy that journey from this moment onwards to create the freaking awesome life you've always desired. And holding that void, when you hold that void, and I've learned this myself. It's freaking awesome. You know why? Because when you can master holding the void, the on the day when you do take actions, you do show up on those days when you're freaking on fire. Success is inevitable because you are inevitable. And on the days when you feel like you just wanna hide away in your duvet and you wanna just rest. There's still a maybe, a frequency of maybe. Someone can come in on those days when you're not quote unquote on. That's the void, because anything is possible in the void. That's the magical place, and yet people fear it because it's the unknown. It's dark and scary, and the mind hates it. The mind hates it until you learn. To train the mind to come back to serve you, you as the soul, 
you as the multidimensional leader who is here to light the way for humanity to rise. So can you see why you are an energetic mismatch now to what you desire to create? The only reason that would be a mismatch is because some part of you believe that it's not possible. Some part of you believe that it's going to be hard. It's going to be, it's going to suck. It's going to be not worth the while. But if you can learn to open up to the field of possibilities and potential, and you really ground in the knowing that you can have both, you don't have to choose. You don't have to self-sacrifice to be a healer or a successful woman. You don't have to sacrifice anything to become that, that you can have both. Then you are opening and expanding your capacity to receive what you are born to have. You are already worthy from the day you were born. Yes, your mind probably says, I know this, I intellectually know this. Can you ground that in now in your body? Can you actually feel it run through your body? Right? In the work that I do, what I help my clients is to really open up their system, the energetic circuitry, also known as meridians and nadis, to open them up so the energy starts to flow through the parts that are not flowing and start to allow the conscious mind and the subconscious mind to speak to each other so that they're not working against each other any longer. There is no subconscious dissonance, self-sabotaging, and allow you to start to actually perceive the incredible potential that is already all around you and to take the risk and to have the joy, the fun, that you're meant to have in your life. Even when things are not working out, I wrote on the description um, here today on this live, take tea. Tea has been around for centuries and tea started as a powdered form that was served in a bowl at the Zen monasteries. Maybe even further, we go back to the shamans who used to boil the, the herbs like boiling herbs, basically, in the pot, in the cauldron. And then now we know tea as something we have in tea bag. Now we know tea as something that you even have in your tequila. Horror for me, but you know what I mean? Some people love that. In your bubble tea. But there's always a frequency to tea, no matter how she was raised, no matter how she's packaged, there's always one thing everyone says about tea. There is something so joyful about having tea. There is something so peaceful about having tea. There is something about tea that connects all of us. When we want to sit down and chat, we have tea. So there is always a constant frequency to this incredible tea spirit that I, I so love to work with in ceremony. So if you can take that example and just put yourself into the shoes of this tea spirit, what part of you, like who are you in different situations? Do you change your frequency? Like if you're in a room with incredibly successful people, do you, do you feel smaller and you change your frequency? And you don't talk about your offers, you don't talk about who you are, you just kind of stay on, on the wall like a fly on the wall and you're like, oh, I'm too small for this. I hate myself. If you walk into a room where the people are probably new and they are tuning into your work and they, 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 they are so new to the world of the energetics, for example, do you go in there and you condescend them? Do you go in there and say, oh, they don't understand this, they're not going to buy because they're so fucked up and they, they need fixing? There is no shame to any of this. And these are just examples that I'm giving because I've seen it. I've seen it. I've done it. I've known this. I've known this feeling. And what I've really learned is when I am a leader, 
as a leader, this is what I am committed to. I want to walk with you, higher self to higher self, shoulder to shoulder. There is no pedestal. I am not bigger than you. I don't know everything. And I stand to be corrected. But what I do know is my work, my medicine is fucking powerful. And I have no shame about sharing it. But I also know that there is a place and time where some people may not resonate with it. And that's okay. I am focusing on the people who hear me, who understand this, who feel lit up, activated, and they want to learn. They are devoted, they are dedicated. That's what I'm interested in. That's my energetic match. Not the ones who say, I'm not enough, and I don't know what the crap she's talking about. Like... And that's okay too, because they're not a match today doesn't mean they won't be a match tomorrow. And that's what I mean by unattaching myself from the timeline. I'm unattaching myself from the timeline. This is a very beautiful energy because it really gives you a presence of mind. It really gives you a presence of mind in the simplest situations, you know, like even when you're on the beach, are you checking your phone, waiting for someone to DM you and buy your stuff? Are you on the beach with your family and you can't even have a good time because you're worrying about how to meet your, um, your payments at the end of the, of the month? Or, or you're having such a good you have like people dropping in, you have people buying, but one person is not enough. 10 persons, not enough. What about 100? Yeah, but still, I think I can do 300. So 100 is nothing. Appreciating the moment now is going to help you to quantum leap as well. It will. And when we come from that leadership space, that legacy leadership space, we are not here as a flash in a pan. We are here to evolve. We are here to create a classic, a vintage that is here to stay. And to stay, we need to communicate in a way that is ever evolving and current. There is an electromagnetic field around your creations. And that field can amplify when you're plugged in to that thing. When you're plugged in, when you're fully in their unwavering faith, like completely full faith that this is so good. Even if people don't get it right now, I know I'm just ahead of the curve. And people will land on it. I'm going to keep going, keep refining my skills, my communication skills. How can I deliver this in a way people can understand here now in this dimension? Like this has been a learning curve for me as well. Not going to lie. And that's part of being a CEO of your brand. This is part of being a leader. Right. I spoke about this two days, I think three days ago on a live where I spoke about my huge belief in reuniting luxury and sacred as one. I feel like right now is finally landing because I'm seeing the responses and all of that. But really, it took me a while to finally get that into one sentence. It's something I've been seeing and feeling in the energy field. But I had to match that to finally bring it in into this manifested form. And one thing I always, always say is when you feel into your body what it feels like to already have it and you, and you find your mind is actually fighting you, you got to realize that you might end up becoming what I coined the armchair visionary. <laughs> I call it the armchair visionary just for laughs because an armchair visionary creates all these incredible visions and dreams in your heads 
and then they never take a step forward to create it. Why? Because they're stuck in their over analysis and it paralyzes them to a point where their energy field, which started off with this visionary, vibrating, like incredible transformative field, suddenly changed and started to shrink. So that's why I am so passionate about the work of really what it means to work with the void. What does it mean to feel in your body? How can I open up my channels to more, more of the light that is streaming in? How can I receive the downloads and anchor that into this dimension so that I can give back? Because without service, like service is the highest frequency we can literally anchor into for quantum leaping. And that service has to come from your heart. And without the need to self-sacrifice because we're done with that. We're so done with that. And at the risk of sounding like a broken record, to, to just share, I actually went through a time when I almost became an armchair visionary. And when I started, when I realized that, I was like, holy shit, Liane, like you can't, no, this is not the vibe. And you know what? Yes, just like I was at that time, I had every right to continue stewing in a place of self-righteousness and overthinking, overanalyzing. Yes, 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 yes. All the things that I, my mind came up with, all the scenarios of what ifs. Yes, it does. It, it, it has a percentage of possibility that it could happen. But my soul, like I was just not okay with being a, an armchair visionary. I was like, I need to decide. And I decided. I decided that I'm going to devote myself to my own evolution. Yes, I will fuck up. Yes, there will be moments that I will feel really low. But there will also be moments when I will experience success like I've never dreamt of. And I've seen it. I've experienced it. And I've enjoyed it. And if I could just say one thing, celebrate the fuck out of it. I wish I did a lot more celebration than I had done. And that's why I tell my clients all the time, like celebrate it right now. Celebrate it. When you're experiencing it, celebrate it. And God forbid, don't look down on anyone who today said to you they're not ready yet because they could be tomorrow. They could be next week. They could be next month. And this is the leader I'm interested in working with. I want someone who is done with projecting on others, who's done with overanalyzing all the scenarios that are not even really here in this physical dimension. It's just made up in the mind. Who really wants to master the mind and become the soul that you truly are and actually embody your highest self frequency wherever you go. That is the transformative experience. That is the transformative presence. And it's not about doing more. It's not about that. To become an energetic match to all that you desire, it's not about doing more. However, you do have to decide first and foremost, what is your vision? And get in alignment with it. That's why I love doing the work of the highest self. I have the highest self activation. If anyone is interested, you can absolutely DM me and get a recording of it. It is an incredible activation where you start to really feel how the highest self feels like when it lands in you. And you start to present yourself in that way. You start to move in that way. You start to speak in the way that you as the highest spouse, highest self speaks. Then you become an energetic match. You become an energetic match to all that you desire. It no longer remains as a desire. An armchair visionary has lots of desires that remains as a desire. Okay. Ah. <sighs> I feel like I've gone on and on and on. That's another term I like to say. It's like, I always say like, are you a lady in waiting? 
a lady in waiting, waiting to be saved, waiting to be unleashed, waiting to be spotted, waiting to be noticed, waiting to be acknowledged so that you belong. Let's let's get really clear on this. Like, let's get your channels so clear so that you know. Yes, there will be moments when you have to wait to be patient, but that waiting is the waiting of the frequency of a tree who's going through、mm, winter, and at one point it just knows it's inevitable. I'm going to flower. That's the frequency I'm interested in creating for you and with you. Not the kind of waiting that's stagnating and you know so indifferent and just bound by time, resentful, hating on time, wondering, wondering when it's gonna land, wondering, wondering, wondering. If you're in that place, check in. Really check in with the resistance that you're having right now. Okay. And please, please, please know that you don't have to wait till you're perfect to move. Transformation happens in the evolution. You are evolving from the older version to the newer desired version. You don't have to throw all of those things away, like change your name and address. You don't have to. Transformation. It, and authenticity requires that you embrace all of those things as part of who you are. That's when quantum leap happens. No more looking down upon the older version. No more saying that version is so stupid. Like, like, you know what I mean? It's like we got to get into a place of love. We have to get back into a place of love. Gosh, like it just fires me up to think about how many. Visionary and medicine, like gifted medicine women, have forgotten that they always have the power to decide. To decide when they can say, "I'm done now. I'm taking my power back. No more." To all of those exhausting, limiting beliefs, and the overthinking mind, you always have the power to decide. And you have to decide. Because even when you've gone through thousands of courses, thousands of healing sessions, and you feel like nothing has been done, nothing has shifted, it probably just hinges upon that decision. Like, are you done with that? Are you done with the limiting beliefs? Are you taking your power back now to say no more? I'm focusing my brilliance, my energy, on. All the things I desire to call in, it is inevitable. Success is inevitable. Sales is inevitable. All of the love that I want is inevitable. The best sisterhood, the relationships I am calling in, they are inevitable because I believe. I'm dedicated. I'm devoted to this. Nothing else. Everything else can just stay out of the range. If they ever sneak in, just say, "All right, I'm just gonna." Put you back here, and I'm gonna continue to charge down my way. It can be as simple, but you've got to be able to perceive that power within you. So, I just want to share this today. I hope it landed for you in some ways, and thank you so much for spending your time with me here today. Just know that you are. Brilliant! You already have what it takes within you to do this, and it just gets a lot more fun if you feel that. Yep, I'm so here for it. I'm gonna do this, and I want to do this with、uh, an amazing bunch of women who are also doing this and raise the frequency so much faster because there is a collective consciousness focused on this. Then come on into the quiet revolution. It's nine hundred and ninety nine pounds per month. And it's really a beautiful place to be, to get into ceremony, get into activation with me. I'm there a couple of times a week to really answer questions, 
and really work through all these little kinks so that you're out there leading and doing the things that you love. And if you feel like I really want to have direct connection with Li Ying, I want to do this quantum leap collapse time, like I'm, I want a direct line to her, private coaching is available. I have a private mentorship called Dragon Clouds, and I'm so excited because today I also officially shared on my social media that my one year VIP clients get to go to Kyoto with me. That's included in the package when you sign up for the one year mentorship, one to one Dragon Clouds. There's also the option for four month and six month mentorship. You get to work with me. We get to really hone in specifically on what's going on in your life, all of those good juicy stuff. So if that's for you, DM me to apply. Let's make sure you're a good fit for that because it's really about working towards multidimensional leadership. We're not fucking around here. You're going to get incredible results. You got to be ready for it. And finally, I have at Mystery Skate. It's a one year group immersion and it will, you know, it will include ceremonies. It get, you get like a full uh, vault of classes, master classes. You get access to all my other live classes as well when, as and when they come up. And you get to really be there to play in the mystery, be in the multidimensional realm, know who you are. So all the good juicy stuff is all there. If you want to join me, please DM me, connect, let's chat. And there's really so much goodness out there. There really is. I send you so much love. I hope that you have a beautiful full moon. And I might drop into my free group on Friday. So stay tuned. If you want to join the free group, claim your membership. Vortex of Stillness, that should be in the link in my bio or on the description as well. Okay? All right, my loves. I love you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Thank you, my loves. Big kisses.